I just gotta say, this movie, watching this movie made me very cold during it, like in the theater. I was fucking freezing and I wasn't sure if that was just the AC of the theater. It's like, yeah, I'm cold. Or if the movie was actually that effective, it made me shiver. I'm not sure which. Let's just give the movie a compliment and say the movie made me cold. Everest stars Jason Clark, Josh Brolin, Jake Gyllenhaal, John Hawks, Kira Knightley, Sam Worthington a little bit, you know, and a lot of other people. There's a lot of people involved in this movie. And it's directed by the guy who brought us Two Guns and Contraband, two movies that are just generic, poorly executed and directed movies that I don't want to watch ever again. I really didn't like them, and they made me very nervous going into this one. Especially in Contraband, he did a lot of zooming in and out on action scenes, which Zack Snyder would do in Superman, and I didn't like it there either. It, it was bad, so I was worried it's going to be Everest, they're climbing up and it's zooming in and out while they're like falling and snow is coming. I didn't know it was going to happen, I was nervous. And this is the story of the, what was it, 1996, somewhere in there, this Everest expedition crew, Jason Clark's character, he like tours, he gives people tours by like taking them up to the top of Everest and back down. He's like a tour guide for Mount Everest, sort of. And yeah, it's still dangerous. It's not like, I'll show you, let's go, five bucks, it's all good. It's still like, pay a lot of money, it's very dangerous, it's gonna suck, you're not gonna enjoy it, but you're gonna accomplish something that people consider to be a great, great accomplishment, so there's that. And they're doing this, and there's like another two groups, there's like rival mountain climbing groups that are doing it, and then while they're up there at the tippy tippy top, it wasn't the best journey to get up, but when they get up there, a horrible storm comes, and it just starts fucking shit up. People are getting hurt, killed, all these terrible things are happening. And it's a story of survival of them trying to get off Mount Everest because Mount Everest is just the worst thing ever. Why would anyone ever want to climb it, really? I get it. Back in the day when it was like, let's climb a mountain, that sounds cool. But knowing what we know now, it's like, don't go on a mountain. Mount Everest, stuff like that. Don't climb there. You're going to get frostbite, lose all your fingers or something. You'll die. It's just the worst thing ever. I would never go. And yeah, as I said in the opening thing, the movie, it's just a cold wasteland. Why would you really want to go there? An accomplishment. I was one of the few people to climb Mount Everest. Good for you. Now you have no fingers and your feet fell off and you're missing a leg. You, you know, just terrible things happen to people on there. And yeah, as I said, it's cold. It made me cold in the theater. It's a good setting. This movie has a great sense of place and setting. Mount Everest. It really depicts it as this just... It's like the villain of the movie. It's like they even drop lines like, listen, Everest decides its own weather. It decides what happens. You know who's competing? The mountain climbers and the mountain. The mountain's always going to win because it has the final say. That was a good line because it's true. Everest is like the ultimate villain in this movie. You might have plans that you're going to climb up the mountain and it's going to be all good. Yeah, I made it to the top of the mountain. And then it's just going to shit all over you like, and now you're going to die. It's just a terrible place and it really depicts that well. This just difficult, excruciating journey. It The movie depicts it so well, an excruciating, painful journey that people go through to survive, to get up and down. It did that so well. It just occurred to me right now I should put on a tube for the review because it'd be funny, but maybe it's not so funny. It's probably funnier if I wear this one, so I just will. So yeah, this, whole, this desolate wasteland of nothing, of snow and ice, freezing winds, it's all nature's just working against you to kill you because there's no way you should survive. It's essentially Canada half the year, you know, six months in Canada, Mount Everest, same thing. And that's supposed to be the journey of this movie is the idea that these people are going to have motivations like why do they want to go to the top of this mountain? It can't just be to accomplish it because that's something that's not really a great motivation. And my problem with this movie is that it doesn't define why you would want to go to the top of the mountain. Like we got all these characters, why do they want to go? Why do they want to risk their lives? What's their motivation for this? It we get like motivation and character development for three, four characters, and that fourth one, Jake Gyllenhaal, was minimum, 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 minimum. We basically know why Jason Clark's there, why Josh Brolin's there, and John Hawks. Everyone else is a blank slate that if you like the actor, you might be worried, otherwise you don't care. 
and that's the problem as well. These actors all, for the most part, put in good to decent performances. Their characters are almost non-existent, so it's like, I like Jason Clark enough, I hope he doesn't die. He's also got a baby coming on the way. I've seen that a lot before, it's pretty cliche, but it's a true story, so <laughs> I guess you can't blame it. But yeah, these characters, very bare bones minimum portrayed, so it makes them not immediately likable. Listen, I like Jake Gyllenhaal a lot. I, he's one of my favorite actors. His character was so minimally written that I couldn't care less if he'd like got flung off the mountain and I watched him bounce down the Everest five times and break in half into an ice cube. I could have cared less if it happened because he didn't have much of a character. And the director, he did have a good sense of place and setting. Mount Everest for the most part was pretty believable. Sometimes you could really see the CGI and green screen going on, but more often than not I was believing in the setting, in the disaster of it, and I was enjoying it. I thought they did good for the most part. Once the storm comes in, you're really buying. This is bad. What's happening is bad and you're really into it. And that's what this movie should be because another movie that came out this year, San Andreas, it's disaster movie. This horrible thing is going to happen. You're going to watch these stock characters try to survive and if you like them, good for you. They're not going to develop the characters too well. What the fuck is going on? And then uh, you try, hope they survive this horrible thing. And the problem with San Andreas was the CGI didn't really serve that movie as good as it should have. And this one, a lot more believable looking, more isolated, and it still just didn't work because the characters, I gotta go back to that, the characters were just not that great. Everest, well, it's impressive to watch, and this movie's probably best watched in a theater because that's probably where it'll mo look most convincing. It's still not a very well done movie as far as characters, motivation, stuff like that go. It's just stock characters played by actors you hopefully like trying to survive this ordeal. And that's kind of it. I would give Everest a C+. Plus. It, it was fine. It's not a terrible movie. It's just not an overly memorable movie, but I thought they did well enough. It had its moments, but overall just kind of a forgettable movie. So that's my thoughts on Everest. Comment below, tell me you thought of it. What's your favorite disaster movie, which I'm sort of linking this in with. Everest was a disaster. It's a disaster storm that led to all this happening. So yeah, what's your favorite one? If I had to pick one, that would first off be very hard because there's not many good ones. So I actually can't even think of one off the top of my head. Gravity, I guess. But yeah, what's your favorite disaster situation went bad and people are trying to survive type movie? And thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.